J Mac Sport 24 7. I am J Mac. Thank you for coming to my channel. If this is your first time coming to my channel, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. It helps me to grow the channel and also as I move forward to put in some really put out some really good content about our Dallas Cowboys. And this is my first video of the Dallas Cowboys this new season here, 2023-2024. The um, reason why I have not done any videos, two reasons. One, I have not been motivated. Cowboys have not motivated me, have not been excited to do any videos because of how the season ended last year. And secondly, um, we have a lot of uh, Cowboy compadres out there that are doing uh, video content of our Cowboys. So I was watching the Cowboys doing training camp through their eyes and what they was reporting, as well as the Dallas Cowboys themselves. So that's how uh, I've been getting my information. And so I was, uh, as, as always, every year, uh, excited to watch the first preseason game uh, and all preseason games of our Cowboys. But I wasn't Jack. And I don't think really anyone gets Jack to watch a preseason game. But um, when I watched a preseason game, I watched a preseason game to watch our sophomores and some of the rookies. More so, I want to watch uh, QB2 and QB3, what they look like. Should we have those, these guys in camp? on our team because at any moment we could lose QB1. So it was a lot of chatter last season about Cooper Rush. He went in four, he, he went in four games for our team, for the Cowboys, and a lot of chat that he should replace Dak Prescott. I mean, a lot. And I, I would imagine there's still a lot of those folks still on our bandwagon, uh, on the team, while Cowboy uh, Capadres still feel Cooper Rush is – should be QB one. Well, from what I've seen, from what I've seen, from what I've seen, uh, QB one. I mean, QB two and QB three are where they supposed to be, uh, where they where 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 they should be. Um, I don't think uh, either are QB one. Not just for the Dallas Cowboys, for any of the teams in the league, but there are. Sometimes you have a QB2 and sometimes QB3 sitting there waiting for an opportunity, maybe not on your team, but another team. Someone who's young, came from a small school and may not even have that type of arm, uh, display that type of arm, but have the mind to play the game and need the right players around them. So in my view, I don't think QB2, our current QB2 and QB3, should be in the position of QB1, just by from what I've seen in the first preseason game. Uh, I've seen, um, again, we're playing their twos and their threes and their fours. And so you want to see, another thing I look for in preseason is the depth that we may have. I hope that we have. Because by all means, I, I, I've, the reports and that I've seen and from my Capadre uh, video uh, uh, content, uh, producers, um, we we should be pretty decent on both sides of the ball with regard to O line and D line. And I did not see that in this first preseason game. I did not see the depth that I was hoping for. Um, I felt they were just playing. Um, I felt they were just moving through, just moving through. Um, playing through, not exerting themselves. That's just what it's just that from my position, that's what it looked like. Um, I didn't see, it didn't feel like I was any player was selling themselves out to win, get a, get their name recognized. Um, um, I, I recall when I played again, this is not close to the level they're playing at NFL collegiate, you know, but when I first got into football as a kid and I, I tried out for a football team very, for the first time and the coaches knew who they were going to have their, as their starters and then their backups. And if you're a walk on uh, and everyone's a walk on when you're playing, and, you know, you're 12, 13 years old, you're a walk on playing football. Um, I knew I loved the game. And basically, I paid it. I was like a sponge. Uh, I paid attention to the coaching and what they wanted their players to do. I just, but I'm a no, I'm a nobody playing, want to play on a, on a, on a team. I just want to make the team. 
And then when you make the team, you want to you want to be a starter. But so you have your first preseason game. Well, how, how do you how do you get how do you become a starter? And I remember for myself. All right. We was getting killed in our first game. It wasn't a regular season. Game, it was a preseason game. And then I, I recall the coach looking down the sideline and seeing me. He don't know me from a can of paint. He just see I have the uniform on and I've been to practice every single practice. And he sent me in the, on defense. He put me at nose tackle. And, you know, I to myself, I wasn't afraid to lose. I wasn't afraid to lose. Therefore, I'm going to sell out. So I got on a, a, as nose tackle in front of the center, and I knew I'm not supposed to move until the ball is to move. So my eyes is on the ball. My eyes are on the ball. And um, so the center hikes the ball, and I hit him so hard. I hit him so hard. It, it must have hit the back of his butt or something because – it didn't get to the quarterback. And again, in, in those days, the quarterback is kind of under the center. There wasn't many shotgun in those days. And not only did the ball fumble, I recovered the fumble. I recovered the fumble. And I saw that the ball was a hot potato. And that's the term that we use. I'm, I'm going for it. And I recovered the ball. And then I nailed someone who was going to the sideline. I went into the game. No one knew who I was, really. They all knew who I was going to the sideline. And then, to my surprise, when the starting day roster was put out, I was placed at right defensive end, starting. I mean, I, I, I was – so, again, this first preseason game was a time for you to make a name for yourself, just to say you're not just trying to make the team. You want to start, and that may not happen, but you want you want to be a regular second, third down player. And 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 what I saw, I saw the Jaguars. It, to me, that's what it seemed like. A lot of those twos and threes was trying to become a regular second and third down player, and possibly take somebody's starting position. And then I'm going to move over to the coaching because I'm, for the most part, it's coaching. When you see a second, a third year player fumble a punt return, you, a good portion of it belongs to the player because the player fumbled the ball. But then again, was he carrying the ball to protect the ball? And if he wasn't, then that's coaching. Same for when you catch a ball. And you're in the red zone and you're trying to break tackles to get into the end zone. If you're not protecting the ball as you're trying to break a tackle, if you're not carrying it correctly, that is coaching. So it made me harp on think about coaching over the years for the Dallas Cowboys and who we've had as head coaches. And for many years during the Jason Gary years, we could have won one, maybe two Super Bowls, but we had terrible coaching. And so if the head coach is bad, his subordinates are going to be bad. I'm not that great coaching. Probably great people. By all means, I believe Jason Garrett is a great person. But as a head coach. And so therefore, we're in this. Year in and year out. And continue to be disappointed since what 1995, um, and we continue to have these bad coaching and not lighting the fire into the players and not teaching the fundamentals. And I talk about fundamentals. I always want to go back to basketball. Now, I have my best friend. My best friend. Like so many other people, love the glitter, the excite, the excitement, um, the slam dunk. I don't give a hoot about. In my, if you're in the NBA, I, if it's not a hundred percent close to it, everyone can dunk a basketball in the NBA. 
I don't get excited about the slam gun, uh, or the dunk contest. I, I, I just don't get excited about it. When it, fir- when it first started out years ago, yeah, when you had somebody like Spud Webb, you know, if his, if his size winning, you know. But for, since, since Spud Webb, I know. I, I don't get excited about dunking the basketball. What I do get excited about is shooting a free throw and hitting a free throw. You, uh, when a chess pass is required and doing a chess pass and leading a player, your, your teammate, to the position to catch the ball, gather the ball in one motion and shoot, that's fundamentally sound to me. Using a backboard t- when you're shooting a jump shot, when you're an, at an angle and not trying to shoot at the basket, that's fundamental to me. If you're, if you're a super fast, you have speed, but yet you can't control the basket uh, of the football. If you can't corral the ball and protect the ball as you should, what good is speed? What good is speed and strength if you can get to the quarterback and you can't get the quarterback on the ground or, or create havoc in some degree? What good is, why do you get excited? I, I can't get excited about speed or because you're able to leap and jump to the moon and slam a basketball. I, it doesn't, ex, that's a, you know, it, it does. I was never and have never been a Boston Celtics fan. But during the 80s, the Boston Celtics were fundamentally sound. Period. When, when you are fundamentally sound, you win games. Forgive me, I got something flying around down here and it's really irritating me. And I want to take his life and I'm hoping to take his life at some point. And maybe doing this video. In any of it. Um, coaching. Yeah, the, the the players make the plays, but still, coaches still got to coach. I saw Navelle, Navelle Gallimore in the fourth quarter jump off sides. Now, as I start, started, started out by saying, when I first got into football, I was a nose tackle, first preseason game at nose tackle. I knew the ball was in front of me, and, and I do not go forward. And so the ball is moved. It's right there. I can see it. So we have, I forget how many years Lavera Gallimore has been with the Cowboys now, but this is not his first rodeo. And then it made, it dawned on me. He's in the fourth quarter, this veteran. I mean, we got this guy. He's supposed to be a major run stopper for us. And he's playing in 2023, 24 in the fourth quarter in the first preseason game. And so, and I think on that particular play that he jumped off sides, I think it may have been third down. So it extended uh, the drive for the Jaguars. And I think they may have scored. I can't really be sure. But nevertheless, it did extend the, the, the drive. Um, so he is. I, I and, and if 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 his if his salary is a liability, I can see him going before the first game of the season. I, I can see that. Um, an, an observation of mine: I noticed that the offensive line was being bullied, um, playing somewhat passive. That's just me, and I, I, maybe it's the first because it's the first preseason game, but still, it's the first preseason game for the Jaguars as well. It was their first preseason. It was their playing number twos, number threes. They seem a little bit more aggressive than us. Maybe they got better coaching than we do. I don't know. But it's but again, I'm not, you know, I I, I did not get excited off season. Um doing training camp, I wasn't excited, you know. Um, but I I I, I, I I'm always watching the first game. I'm always watching as many preseason games as I possibly can because I want to learn as much about the Cowboys and what we're gonna have, but I really look for the depth. And I look, want to look at QB2 and QB3, what they look like. Um, I also noticed that I don't believe our defense caused the Jaguars to punt the ball once. Once. Again, that goes back to depth. What, what type of depth do we have? So I guess it's really hard to evaluate in the first preseason game. I don't know. I mean, we, we came out in the second half. and we, 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 we was a little bit more assertive in the second half. Uh, 
but again, they went right down our field and scored as well. So, uh, I don't know. But in, in, and two other observations. Uh, uh, one other observation I seen was the the neck and bootlegs by the uh, Jaguars quarterback. I think their starter had one, and their QB two or QB three had another QB TD. A QB uh, a, a neck and bootleg. First one was to the left. The second one was to the right. And it, I recall, I think that happened to us a few times last season. So to not be prepared for that, again, that's coaching, not putting your players in position. I thought I thought our secondary gave up too many yards. I, only because I thought the players was out of position, linebackers. I thought they was out of position. Not that they couldn't tackle or didn't show the effort. I just thought they was out of position. Uh, many times, a few times that... Uh, our QB two and three took the wrong read because the camera, when the, as we're watching the game, is only showing the route the QB is throwing to. And then I heard the announcer on a play-by-play go, so there was two, maybe three other guys wide open that QB two or QB three could have selected and threw the ball to. Again, that's all up here, and this is when you set yourself. Even though you're playing, your your teammates are twos and threes. If you, you have to, when do you, God, this net's killing me. When do you set yourself apart? This is the opportunity to try to set yourself apart. When you throw it, when you, when, when, when the ball, when the throw requires a certain type of touch, uh, you lead your man so he can run to the ball. You don't throw into coverage. It's finding the right read. Knowing how to tuck it and take a, what, a take off. Just the small things that you try to pick up in, the, in right now. Um, so that, that's that's my observation of the first preseason game. Um, again, I'm going to try to get back into it. Try to get more excited about you know our, our team. Uh, I've been like I've been a Cowboy fan since '76, '77. So I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be here forever. Um, it's just you know Cowboy, 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 Cowboy. I'm going to always be a Cowboy fan um, and 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 represent the star with a lot of pride um again if this is your first time coming through the channel please consider uh, subscribing to the channel and so which will allow me to grow the channel and um as i work to put out you know a lot of content uh that makes sense as from a fan pers pers um, perspective um and because uh, i'm not the x's and o's type of uh youtube creator uh, i'm a fan just like you who's watching watching me right now i'm a fan i love it. i love talking about the cowboys if you have any questions uh content uh, uh you want to throw up there um on the comment section please do so so maybe we have a better uh showing in the next game J Max Sport 24 7 please like share and subscribe to the video and again uh thank you for stopping by J Max Sport 24 7